In our last uh, Frogger video, we added points. And so in this Frogger video, we're going to add um, the concept of lives and the possibility that the game might somehow end. Uh, so we're going to go back to our variables area, which I'm already at. You just click on variables to get there. We're going to make a variable called lives. Um, and in keeping track of our lives, we're, uh, you can see here, I've got another one here. Now, will it fit over there? I suppose I could jam this in here. Um, or I could just put it down in the bottom. So that's fine. You can kind of hide this information around the screen wherever you'd like it to go. Um, so for lives, I'm going to have to set um, lives. And I wonder how many lives. I'm going to have to set that at the very beginning. So I'm setting level to zero. I'm setting points to zero. But lives, I'm going to use lives as a subtraction. So I'm going to usually start it with, like, say, three lives. And then you lose a life every time you touch a vehicle. Um, cats have nine lives. I'm going to go with five. I'm just feeling very generous. Uh, you can also have health bars. And you could do, instead of doing lives, you could have health and you would lose so much health every time you hit a vehicle. Um, I, I'm just going to do lives. It, it makes more sense to me. You, you can choose whether you do lives or health. And uh, when I hit the finish line, my lives don't change. Uh, if you want to give yourself more lives when you hit the finish line, I, I suppose you could. That would be weird. But really, I'm just going to say um, that every time I die, which is very sad, I'm going to lose a life. So I'm going to change lives by negative one. Yeah, that's usually what people expect to lose only one life. And I'm going to put that here. And that way, before the glide, they have a chance to look at their lives and go, okay, I've only got two lives left, or I've only got however many lives left. Um, and so... Uh, I'm going to start the game, and you can see I've got five lives, and I move up here, and as soon as I touched the vehicle, I got the sound effect, and my lives are down to four, and I'll just do one more quick test. Yep, it worked, and I'm down to three. Now, we haven't built the code for what to do when you hit zero, so what we're going to do now is we've got a kind of an if the frog is dead, then it does this whole dying thing. And so this is the moment when we want to check to see, has the frog died for the last time? So this is really where we want to drop an if statement in. So I'm going to go to my control tab. I'm going to grab an if. And this is the really tricky part. you got to make sure it happens in with this group that the, is the frog no longer alive, with dead, very sad. This is where we're going to check. And so in the operators area, you can check to see um, if a number is less than or greater than. And I usually like to do this just in case the computer has glitched and just in case um, you'd, you would never want to have negative lives. So I'm just going to say uh, is that the number of lives, where did my variables go? Let's go get the variables. There's lives right there. So I got the little round lives. So the number of lives is less than one. Um, so just, just in case some random things happen and, and I end up with negative three lives or whatever it is, something goes wrong. So if the lives is less than one, then I'm definitely dead. So uh, what we should do is we're going to start considering how we can um, do an event called a broadcast. And we're gonna broadcast a message and this is our first time using broadcast. So we're only going to broadcast the message and we're not going to kind of do anything about it yet. The, the message is going to be game over. And we're going to say OK. And then when you have a game over, really the frog should kind of go inactive. So we're also going to, uh, in the control area, down near the bottom of the control area, you, there's a stop choice. And we're going to say stop this script because other scripts might still go on. So if the lives is less than one, then broadcast the game over message 
and stop the frog from doing anything else. The frog should just kind of freeze. Um, if you don't want the frog to freeze, this would be the perfect location to send it to go do something else. But for us, we're just going to make the frog freeze. Okay, so this is kind of part one of the game over script. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about part two.